Hi, my name is Dr. Kometz from the Gold Clinic of Chiropractic. We help adults and children achieve their potential in life by keeping them off of drugs and out of surgery through specific scientific chiropractic care. Today I'm going to present to you a case of a female, 35 years old, who came into the office with a very severe case of sciatica that was aggravated by an accident. Her past history was she was blown up in an IED explosion in 2003 and ever since then she's had a severe case of sciatica, but this accident re-aggravated. The reason why I'm explaining this case is very recently on Facebook posts and YouTube posts, I've seen a lot of people talking about an ileum that was subluxated on both sides or something similar to that. So I want to show this case because it really shows what's going on in the x-ray and how the body can change after getting adjusted properly. This right here is a posterior, the rear view of the pelvis on the before x-ray. One thing that you'll notice here is these obturators are very, very narrow looking. And I know you're not experts in x-ray, but I'm going to explain that, what's going on on the dry spine here. Yes. This is the back view of the spine. When the pelvis rotates anteriorly, what happens is these obturators become more narrow compared to a more normal position like this. Now, in Gonstead's work, when one side of the ileum goes anteriorly, it's called anterior superiorly, the other ileum should move posterior inferiorly. So they're supposed to move in equal and opposite directions. However, on this x-ray, it's appearing that both of them are shifting anteriorly. Work. So I want to go over this x-ray a little bit more in detail here. So, the side that rotates anteriorly superiorly, and that's called AS, when that happens, it tends to shorten the entire length of the ileum, thereby making that hole a little bit smaller. On this x-ray, you can see that both holes are actually very narrow looking. Okay? One side measures in at 212, the other side measures in at 215 millimeters. So, I want to show you what happens when we can apply the chiropractic adjustment to the subluxation and how this can completely change this listing here. This is the post x-ray. This is taken after 12 visits. The first thing that you'll notice here is there's a drastic change in the size of the ileums. Not only that, both ileums have increased in length. When you compare the pre and post side by side, now you can clearly see the obturator size, a huge difference in that. Not only that, remember what I said before, as that ilium moves AS, it will tend to shorten the ilium. By the correction of the subluxation, that 212 millimeters now went to 216, so she actually gained 4 millimeters of length of the ilium by correcting that subluxation. When the ilium starts to move more posteriorly and inferiorly, PI, it will start to lengthen that hip. And that happened on both sides here. Uh, from 212 to 216 millimeters, from 215 millimeters to 220 millimeters. So what that means is by correcting the subluxation, her pelvis had completely rotated from more anteriorly to posteriorly. The cause of the ilium rotating anteriorly was caused by a subluxation in the lumbar region. The lateral view of the x-ray confirmed that with all of our other Gonstead criteria. If you're interested in seeing the cause of the subluxation, we posted those pictures on our website at goldclinic.com. Just follow the post here at the top of this YouTube video. For any questions about the office, you can contact our office at goldclinic.com. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash goldclinic, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here below. I hope this was helpful.